Hey guys, Dina Rose here and welcome back to another episode of Alpha Craft. I'm here at spawn uh, because we can start working on this countdown calendar. That's right. It is past. Uh, I mean, we're into our 12 days of Christmas. It's going to be amazing. Also, I needed to go over to Frill's shop and get some ice for a project that we're going to be working on in just a little while. But I thought we'd start here with the wonderful countdown calendar that JJ and Wild have put together. And we're going to look at what we got on our first day of Christmas. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. I, I, I got to get out of this view. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Oh! <laughs> on the first day of Christmas, this is what I got. A spruce sapling and a clay pot. <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. So cute. So cute. We'll have to come back later and find out what we get on the next day of Christmas. Okay, I have already gotten uh, the ice that I need. Um, so we're going to head out and go over to the Christmas village. I, I know we, we spent a lot of time working on uh, the the zoo and I think we're gonna we're gonna go over to the Christmas village because there's only so much time by the way wild has done a thing and we now have a Christmas tree yes we do we have a Christmas tree it's beautiful thank you wild I love it um so yeah let me show you what's been going on so we we ended up uh working a lot on the zoo and I'm not doing that today. Today we're going out to the Christmas village, but on the way there, on the way there, I wanted to mention that um, we still have an elder guardian here that we need to take care of eventually. Um, but Aletha has been working so hard and she finished up the tunnel, the North tunnel running all the way from Avo's old portal area to, if we keep going, we're gonna see it. Come on, we're almost there. I for, I, maybe I should have flown some more. Uh, but yeah, we made it all the way down to the Christmas Village portal. So as you can see, this, this continues all the way down to the Christmas Village port, uh, tunnel. And this, this tunnel was designed by Spiderweb Ninja, and I absolutely love it. I mean, even with the red particles from the, the, yeah, the, the biome red particles makes this place just look extra cool, extra special. I love it. But let's head out to the Christmas Village, and I will, um, I'll show you what we're going to be doing out there today. Welcome back, everyone, to the Christmas Village. We've got <laughs> We've got uh, Santa Hog up there in his sleigh. Just so much fun. So many fun things over here. But last, I mean, it's been a long time since we've been over here. We got we got our fun thing that we did there. Uh, we've got the North Pole up on the hill. And something that I wanted to do that I never got around to was in this area here, I want to build a skating pond. I don't know. This area right here just feels... Like it's the perfect spot for a skating pond uh, for for the village. And so that's what I'm going to do. Today we are going to build a skating pond for this village. And uh, we're going to do it right here. Yep, that's the plan. So well, let me get to work. Also, there, there's a pig up there. Actually, I'm looking at this going, hmm, there's so many other things that we can do. But we're, we're going to start with, with, with just the skating pond. So, yeah, let me, let me get working on that. And uh, I'll bring you back when I've got something to show. All right, countdown calendar day two. Let's see what we get. Let's jump over the edge here. All right. Let's see, let's see. What is it? A ma magical reindeer food. <gasps> Ooh, that's fancy. Put that in my pocket. Thank you. Okay, I'm back here at the Winter Village, and as you can see, I have done a bit of work. Uh, we've got the the pond done now, so this this pond is is in how I want it to be. I did put in a whole shulker box of grass. Uh, to terraform this area. There were some big holes in it uh, and I wanted to make it a little bit more flat to make it more sense. Probably 
probably am going to get rid of this this area right here not quite sure but now that we've got this kind of laid out the pond the the basic shape that I want um, I want to start getting it decorated I know that I want to have like a little a little house or a little shed or hut I, I don't know what what the word is but you know a little shelter off to the side maybe over here or maybe I'll put it over here I'm not quite sure but a little a little shelter so that you can come in and warm up uh, from from your ice skating I, I want to have some decorations some pools garlands and lights hanging over top of this area you know just just make it look a little bit more festive so let me work on that and when I and again this this is probably something I'm gonna do off camera simply because I don't have a plan I don't I this is all in my head and I'm just making it up as I go uh, but I'm gonna do my best see if I can get this to look festive and I will bring you back in when I've got something to show you all right we're back it is the third day of our countdown calendar let's see what we get Christmas stockings oh wow look at that durability <laughs> that's amazing Christmas stockings oh how fun thank you well I've gotten the uh, posts in and the garland up around and I really like the way that this looks it gives it such a festive feeling with the the redstone blocks the gold blocks the sea lanterns um, the the soul lanterns soul lanterns is that what these are called yeah soul lanterns um the thing is is i used regular ice and so i have to be very careful about where i place the lighting because if i get it too close to the ice uh the ice will melt and i don't want the ice melting because this is supposed to be an ice skating rink but this right here i believe that the sea lanterns are up high enough that they're not going to melt the ice uh, the soul lanterns are a low enough light source that they don't uh, meaning a a dim enough light source that they don't melt the light the the ice and yeah i'm happy with this so uh the one thing i do need to check is to make sure that none of this stuff is spawnable up above because that would be bad yeah i probably should check that don't want a creeper falling down on the ice rink the next thing i want to do though is to section this off give it a little bit of a windbreak um, because if you've ever gone ice skating out on a pond wind has a tendency to blow straight through and it gets really cold so what i want to do is put up some um, wind breaks i also want to and i think i'm going to do it over here i'm going to put up a little skate shack and so that's going to be the next thing that i work on here um, i may also put in some more snow and snow layers to just give this place a little bit more of a wintry vibe let's do it hello doggo it's the four it's four days to Chris, fourth day of Christmas. It's the fourth day of Christmas. It's the fourth day of Christmas. Let's go find out what our thing is gonna be today. A snow shovel. Ooh, I like it. Thank you. Amazing. So much fun. It's snowing. Oh my goodness, I love it. It's snowing. Okay, so uh, I've done a little bit more work. We've got the wind breaks up. And what I did was I used uh, fences with some leaves and kind of did these bushy things. So we've got the wind break up around and I love the coziness of this area now. Added some, some benches made out of dark prismarine. You know, this is where you can stop. You can put on your skates, get ready to skate. Um, yeah this place is starting to look very very fun i i really like it the next thing i'm going to do is right over here in this spot uh it's time to build our little ice shack our little um sorry skate shack and i've got the things that i need for that in my pocket right now so i'll get that going and i will be back with you in just a moment it's the fifth day of christmas i wonder what i got Let's go find out. A candy cane. Okay, I see it. 
It's a candy cane. Very sweet. Thank you! I got the Skate Shack finished. The Skate Shack is finished. Yes. It's a little bigger than I anticipated it being when I was originally thinking about it, but uh, because of how cramped interiors are, it needed to be this big. So this is what we've got. We've got a little place people can come and sleep. The idea of these are benches, you know, they can sit, rest their feet, warm up by this fire. Um, I do have a campfire underneath of here, mostly for the sound. Uh, then we've got this little bench, you know, uh, sorry, little table. Maybe they have some hot chocolate or something. Just a very basic room because a lot of these cabins, they're, they're like, they're supposed to be like temporary type housing. Uh, basically, it's just a place to come, warm up uh, before going back outside to, to skate some more. So that's done. I did end up using some of the, um, yeah, the, the crimson nylium up there. And I, nylium, that's not the right word. No, no, no. It, anyway, the crimson, the crimson stuff whatever the crimson stuff is. Uh, I ended up using that and I really like the like the pulsating effect. It really reminds me of Christmas lights. Um, but yeah, very, very simple house. Oh, I left a block up there. I was putting putting cobwebs up for for the chimney. I like it. I, I like it. Okay, this area is just about done. The next thing that I need to do is get some life in here. We're gonna do some armor stand fun, get some armor stands in here, some some people skating around, uh, and yeah, yeah. I Once I, <laughs> that's gonna be finicky, so I'm gonna do that off camera. Probably bring a path in over as well as I work on that. But we'll, we'll get that done, and then I'll go show you the finished product. But don't worry guys, I'm not done. I've got one more project that I wanna work on today. The 18th. Holly! Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Holly! Yay! I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. We've got a path now that leads over to our little skating area. I added these little, um, I don't know, they're kind of like lollipops, holiday lollipops. Took the idea from what Spider did over here and really liked that so we we added our own and if we come down here we've got skaters on the pond look at all the little elves skating on the pond unfortunate look at this this poor little one fell down oh poor little pig and his friends are coming to help him and then we've got we've got two two little two little lambs skating together holding hands oh i love this place i think this one's my favorite though we've got the the little sheep here putting on his uh on his skates getting ready to come skate with the others so much fun i do like the way that this turned out there's probably a ton more armor stands that i could have put in here but apparently marvin liked it too did, did you see that he, he came by to, to say hello um but I do like the way that this turned out. I think that it looks fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Uh, I'm not done though. I mean, I'm done with this area. This, this is done, the, the skating pond, it's it's finished. We've got the interior done, we got, we got this done, but I wanna do something else. You see, I think that, the, I think that this area needs some more builds and I, I really wanna get some done before before the holiday season is over. And I'm thinking about putting in a little something right over here. Yep, right, right here. We got, we got that house here. I think I'm gonna put something here, and it's it's not gonna be a little something. It's actually gonna be, it's gonna be a pretty big something. So let's uh let's get started. I got something special planned for for this area. So I'm gonna get building, and I will show you what I have, the plan I have when we come back. It's the 19th. It's the 19th. What? Oh, no. Oh, that's gross. I don't even know if I want this in my pocket. Ew, I've got to go home and clean out my pockets. Thank you. I think... 
one giant teddy bear later we are done i wanted to build a teddy bear here in the christmas town because you know teddy bears christmas bears are are very classic christmas type things and um i wanted to have one here i just thought it would be fun i when i when <laughs> So I saw a tutorial for this by someone named Wheel Assassin. I, I took what they did, changed up the blocks a little bit. Um, theirs was a Valentine teddy bear, so I made mine holding a gift. So it's a Christmas teddy bear, and I really liked it. The uh, tutorial for that is linked in the description below, so make sure you check that out. Oh, also, make sure that you check out the other alphas. Their links are also in the description. Come fly down here and just see. This thing is huge. Also... I didn't realize it, but you can't actually see the bear's eyes from here. I guess that's okay. It's super cute, super fun, and um, yeah, I built this specifically because I wanted a present. I wanted a present for uh, my secret Santa, so shh, don't tell anybody, but my secret Santa's gift is uh, is in that in that present box right there, and uh, yeah. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. I'm going to do a little bit more work around here. I need to add, um, I need to extend this pathway out a little bit more. My bear is floating a little bit, so I need to uh, light up, finish lighting up the area. There's a big dark spot right back here. Um, but yep, you can see where we are compared to the rest of the village here. Um, and oh, I need to add a tail. I forgot to add a tail in the back. But I'm going to finish up doing just a little bit more work uh, here on the teddy bear. Guys, if if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, leave me a comment. I enjoy hearing from you, and I look forward to seeing you once again. Uh, we we're gonna finish up our yeah, we're gonna finish up our advent calendar. See what else we got for Christmas, and uh, do something else special for next time. So I will see you very soon in the next episode of Alpha Craft. Bye now.